guys, Sally here. I'm the drone girl. I just got my hands on the all new DJI Neo. It's a hand launch drone, which is exactly why I'm holding it in my hand like this. In my other hand, I have my smartphone. That's because I don't have a controller for this drone. Although you can opt to separately purchase a controller, DJI really wants you to just use this as a follow me drone where it uses its automatic flight modes like follow me, droney, various modes where the drone can fly up in a circle and go around you to film that way, really taking advantage of DJI's smart algorithms. I can actually see the drone's camera on the screen right now. We're gonna go ahead and start recording. There's me, hello, hi. We start by just tapping this button. It says tap start button to take off and start recording. It's super simple, so let's go ahead and do that. Equipped with a 12 megapixel camera that can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second, the Neo punches above its weight class when it comes to image quality. The colors are vibrant and the details are sharp even inside my house. It really stands out though for the highly popular follow me mode. Here's me trying it out as seen from the drone's camera. Landing is just as easy as takeoff. And I just hold out my hand. It can sense that I'm here and it lands just like that. That was my first ever DJI Neo flight. It's super safe and easy to fly. I'm inside my house right now and I don't think my fiance really likes me flying drones inside the house because we're gonna ding up the walls, but not with this one. You can see that I actually have these propeller guards all around the drone, which really protects my walls or even my hands. It's a hand launch drone. Another way that we can fly this is with manual control. And there's actually a feature here that we do manual control. So we're gonna tap take off here. It still takes off from my palm. So these are the kind of sticks that you're used to. I'm gonna make it go backwards. I can also do the traditional moves like yaw and tilt. One note about this drone, battery life is short at just 18 minutes. Even though the drone costs $200, you'll likely end up paying $300 as I recommend you go for the fly more combo, which gets you a few more accessories, namely more batteries. That's especially important if you're the kind of pilot who loves the thrill of flying in manual mode like I'm doing this here. This is a nice option if you want to feel like you're more in control and not just relying on those automatic flight modes. The noise is pretty high pitched. It doesn't super sound great, but... We'll take it. I am interested to fly this thing outside. I have read in other reviews that it doesn't really thrive well in the wind, which is a big reason why flying it indoors makes a lot of sense. Thanks for joining me on my first drone flight. Happy flying.